Going to be joined by uh, Tabang Makwetla in a short while, but let's uh, let's get uh, all the details from her. Ayanda, good morning again. Hello again to you, Leanne. Thank you so much uh, for joining us once again. Welcome back to you. And what a way to come back. I tell you, this broadcast is one to make you feel right at home. Leanne, let me give you a piece of our recent history in South Africa. Back in 1997, the Department of Arts and Culture gained control of Robben Island. Uh, at Fast forward a few years later, in fact, before they took control uh, of Robben Island, you'll remember that the place was, of course, used to incarcerate political prisoners. And a couple of years later now, in our 20th year of democracy, we're now seeing the Department of Correctional Services back in the spotlight. But don't worry, they're not going to be arresting people and putting them on Robben Island again. They're back in a different capacity. It's in a new initiative that will somehow take young offenders uh, and rehabilitate them right here on Robben an island so they will help with the maintenance of the island and also get some skills transfer i'm here with the deputy minister in the department of correctional services mr tabang makwetla he'll tell us all about it a very good morning to you sir thank you so much for joining us good morning and uh, let me on behalf of the minister of uh, justice and correctional services our viewers everywhere um, <clears throat> it is indeed a, a, a privilege for us uh, 17 years later as the Department of Correctional Services to be back on Robben Island to be part of uh, the story that is uh, unfolding here. Uh, the department has uh, decided to contribute to the preservation of heritage that uh, Robben Island uh, represents by uh, offering offender labor in the maintenance of the infrastructure of this uh, correctional, uh, former correctional center, but also take advantage of that to promote uh, the reskilling and the rehabilitation of our offenders, which is one of the most important obligations that the department now has. Uh, the regional commissioner of uh, Correctional Services here in the Western Cape uh, on the, one of his recent visit to this center as one of the former inmates uh, observed that there was an opportunity for the department to come back to, be, to Robben Island and be part of uh, the Robben Island Museum's effort to preserve this place by looking after its uh, infrastructure, infrastructure maintenance. As you know, uh, you know, infrastructure maintenance in government in different departments it's one of our major challenges and we decided that here we'll uh, take advantage of uh, our offender labor to get ourselves involved in order to assist the, the Robben Island Museum and the Department of Arts and Culture to keep this center in a very you know decent state because it has been in the in the headlines of later for all the wrong reasons the stories of negligence and dilapidated structures so this is a two-prong approach number one to rejuvenate the island number two to rehabilitate or reskill uh, young offenders how is it going to work deputy minister is it just for young people do they have to have served time before uh, or have been released on parole for them to participate in this initiative just talk to us about the logistics uh, the labor that is going to be utilized here will be provided by different categories of, uh, of uh, offenders. Uh, firstly, it will be offenders uh, who are placed on parole uh, and who are therefore, as we do from time to time, uh, involved in, uh, in, in contributing labor in different community centers, whether it be they hospitals, be they schools, uh, those kind of centers will always contribute labor. Uh, they will offer uh, parolees, but will also utilize ex-offenders, meaning offenders who have completed their sentences, who we are assisting to reintegrate them in our communities uh, by taking advantage of the skills that we provided provided them with during their incarceration but will also use uh, uh, inmates me uh, offenders who are still uh, in the early you know part of their sentences uh, who are in our correctional centers will also utilize them the 
prioritization uh, will really be of young people, of the youth in doing that. Indeed. Uh, Deputy Minister, my thanks again for joining us. More on this particular initiative, how sustainable is it? We'll find out all the nitty-gritty in just a moment. Stay with us.